we have finally done it. We finally have a series on this channel. Hopefully it's the first episode. This is a series that I'm going to call First Impressions, where I listen to a show that I haven't listened to fully or haven't listened to at all, and I give my first impressions. If you haven't come across my channel before, hi, I'm Daniel. I like to talk about musical theatre way too much. I am also in that stage of quarantine hair where it's just an absolute mess. But if you like theatre and you like hearing people talk about theatre, this is the channel for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button to join the conversation or you can leave a comment down below and leave a like. Today I wanted to discuss a musical that I actually have listened to little bits of. The musical in question is Hairspray. So what are my first impressions? I really like it, it's a really good show. <laughs> if you know me, you were probably expecting me to hate it. But like, I, I, I actually really like Hairspray. I think it's a really heavily written show and it is such a bop. Uh, in 1962, Baltimore, Maryland, plump teenager Tracy Turnblad's dream is to dance on the Corny Collins show. When Tracy wins a role in the show, she becomes a celebrity overnight, leading to social change as Tracy campaigns for the show's integration. Wow. The show at its heart is really about race relations, more than Tracy Turnbad's kind of dream. And it's the kind of way that these people are treated and how that's wrong and kind of looking at it from a modern perspective. Really, especially like right now, we're seeing so many of the same voices who are being suppressed kind of rise up in the Black Lives Matter movement. I am gonna leave some links in the description to some Black Lives Matter material, uh, people who can explain it better than me and places to donate. I do have a few very slight problems with Hairspray, but nothing that's too massive. My first problem is really nitpicky. I don't really like the marketing. I don't like this like CD kind of thing. It, I just find it creepy, like the mouth and the, uh, I, I, I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan of that, not a fan. But when we get to the actual show, it is so good. I think with this specific version I listened to, which was the Broadway one, I had a couple of problems, just little tiny problems with a couple of the actors. I didn't like some of the inflections that the person playing Tracy Turnblad had, especially in Good Morning Baltimore, when she kind of goes high, it's a little bit squeaky and it's a bit like, oh, a little bit cringy. But she's a great performer, and when she's not going way too high, I'm a big stan. There's also Harvey Firestein in this show. I am also a big fan of Harvey Firestein. Like, I'm a big stan, love Kinky Boots, love him in Mrs. Doubtfire, but why is he in a musical? <laughs> if you don't know who Harvey Firestein is, he's a gay guy who talks like this. And so that kind of becomes a little bit grating in a musical. But there's also loads of actors that I didn't realise would be in this show. Like Kerry Butler of Beetlejuice fame. I was like, wow, that's Kerry Butler's voice. And then Matthew Morrison, otherwise known as Mr. Shoe. Oh no. Oh no, Tracy, you don't want to be with him. In a couple of years, he gets very creepy. I really don't suit hats, but this is what we're going to have to do. It's a very funny show. Like, there's so many great lines. My favourite one is in Without Love. Like, it's got some really witty lines, and I, I, I'm a big fan of that. But of course, we come to the main part of a musical, which is its music, and Hairspray. Whew. Now, not only did I have some of the greatest songs that I'd already listened to, like my favourite villain song of all time, which is Miss Baltimore Crabs. I love a good tango. But it also has some like great upbeat songs, like Run and Tell That, that was a big shock for me. Uh, Without Love is great. Uh, the finale is like classic music theatre, you can't get any more music theatre than that. I do think there's a few songs I didn't like as much. Um, I didn't like the big Dollhouse song, didn't quite get that one. Um, Cuties was a bit too short, could have done with a dance break like it does in like the film. I've heard it, I've heard a vir version, I think it's from the film. I Can Hear The Bells is a little bit too long, but the majority of the songs are great. And honestly, I would listen to them on repeat. And that's the mark of a great musical. It's also, it's also like really 60s and got like a really nice, 
There's a lot of saxophone in it. That's how I'm going to describe it. <laughs> yeah. No, thank you. Thank you, guys. Hold your applause for that greatest description of all time. <laughs> I'm really good at getting my points across, clearly. <laughs> but that's my thoughts on hairspray. Would I recommend hairspray? Yeah. I mean, I'm pretty sure I'm like the last person in the world to listen to it for some reason. And I'm really upset that I haven't listened to it before because it is great. Like, it really works. It hits you with everything a musical should. It's got the great upbeat numbers. It's got some amazing ballads. It's got amazing characters. And honestly, I just watch it and think, how the hell did high schools get away with doing all white productions of this? Because this is so... How? <laughs> but I'm very excited because I can actually go watch Hairspray because it's coming to London next year. Uh, that's great. I'm excited for that. <laughs> Marisha Wallace as Motorhead. Uh, yes, please. Take my money. But what do you guys think of Hairspray? Please leave your comments in the comment section down below and let me know any more shows that you'd like me to cover on first impressions. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and consider subscribing. We have the biggest musical theatre group on the, the internet. That's not true. <laughs> But if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and more importantly, subscribe to get more episodes of First Impressions plus more of my weird music theatre content. Like these videos right here somewhere. But that's it for me today. I've been Daniel. Bye. <laughs> I'm really good at finishing my videos, clearly.